In this video, we'll look at a simple example of bursting a web intelligence report and delivering the results to email recipients. So we'll start by adding the report to a burst, and we'll give that burst a name. Within the burst, we'll select our bursting type. Revenue by city will be conducting a single pass burst. We'll refresh the report once for all cities, and then filter the results to produce unique documents for each city. So we'll select a filter variable. Here we select customer city from the list of our report variables, and we're done. That's all we do for a single pass burst. Next, we address the delivery. We'll be delivering to email recipients. So we'll select our email inbox option. And for our list of recipients, we'll go to a data source. The source is a database table, which simply contains a list of our cities and a corresponding column with our email addresses. So we'll select our sample database, and from that we'll select a simple query that returns the appropriate email address based on the city value, and add that as our list of recipients. That means that the recipient list is dynamic and always correct. Finally, we'll select our format. Our format in this case will use HTML, which is a very nice way to deliver Web Intelligence Report content to email. The report will be rendered in line in the email message. So we'll add that delivery and burst now. We're all done. Let's look at the results of the burst. The resulting email contains the Web Intelligence Report rendered in line HTML. So we're able to consume the report right here in our email client. The report was bursted by City. I receive the Aurora slice of that overall city report. As you can see, multiple tabs from the report are rendered in the same email message. So that's simple report bursting, web intelligence to email using InfoBurst.